What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be breaking down a really effective passing uh, formation in the Arizona Cardinals playbook and kind of doing a couple of part series on the gun cluster mini scheme. We're gonna be giving you a free mini scheme here on the channel. This is just something that you can add into our Arizona spread, which if you've not gotten the most up-to-date Arizona spread, I would encourage you to um, basically just sign up for the True Fan membership and you'll be able to get all of the videos. Um, the Arizona spread, in my opinion, is one of the most fun and unique offenses that you can run in Madden 21. So if you have not already picked up the Arizona or the True Fan membership, it's well worth it. Uh, we've got a two-hour Trips Tied In ebook in there. We've got a uh, one-hour Arizona spread ebook in there. We've got a uh, one-hour Big Nickel Over G ebook on the way, and we've also got uh, some really. I think we've got. Um, I think we've got another one in there from like the Nickel Triple or something like that. So if you want to get access to all of it. Um, it's just down in the description. There's a link. It's just literally just five bucks and it gets you access to everything. So um, anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with this play from the gun cluster. You're going to see here that I'm in the play mesh post. This is honestly probably one of my favorite plays in the entire game. It's so much more versatile than I even remember. But basically what I like to do with this, this is a very, very good play, especially for Mabel coverage. All you're going to see is I'm just going to motion this tight end to the outside. And what you're going to see is nobody's going to follow him from 3-3-5 three, three, wide, which allows me to throw these easy little out routes to the tight end. Another thing that you can do uh, with this, and again, this is kind of specific to 3-3-5 three, three, wide, but what you're going to see is I'm going to run a lot of different types of concepts. Uh, but one of those is, as you can see right here, um, I could take this tight end and I could put him on anything. If I wanted to simply just put him on a little flat route, motion him out, snap it, throw it, uh, just truck up field, you see that even a five-yard hard flat is not going to be able to defend this route, and that's one of the cool parts about it. What you're going to force your opponent to have to do is you're going to force them to have to basically base a line against you because they're not going to be able to stop it any other way. Let me show you what that looks like as far as, as, far as it pertains to this tight end out route. When you see base a line, what you're going to want to let the tight end do is just let him set his feet, and then you're going to see here you're still going to be able to throw this ball with an out on the outbreak. Really what you're gonna force them to do is you're gonna force them to play either cover two, um, or you're gonna force them to have to ch basically change their zone drops or who's on their zone drop. So what you're gonna see here is I'm gonna put the X, um, this X corner is gonna be on a little uh, curl flat. And I just wanna show you he's gonna have a lot better leverage. This is also why we like to let this player set. It's really, really important uh, to let him set. But now you see that they're gonna be able to go out there. Now, one of the other things that you might've noticed is that the out route doesn't necessarily get completely bagged. He just kind of sits on it for just a split second. So let me show you this a, uh, a second time here. So again, I'm just gonna simply uh, just basically run this coverage right here. As you can see, we've got the baseline and we've got the, the guy out there. And basically when we get him out here, what you're gonna notice is this same flat zone. If we pass lead this upfield, you could still throw this ball even against a five yard little seam flat. This is gonna to start to really kind of weigh on them and it's gonna to start to change um, really their perspective and how they're gonna defend this. And so they're gonna to have to put a lot of energy um, into defending that one little route. The other th other reason why this is really, really cool is you're gonna see this running back wheel route. Now this running back wheel route is kind of unique. Um, it's not exactly the perfect seam wheel, but it is pretty good. And um, basically you're just gonna pass lead this to the inside. And as you can see right there, if you see a zone coverage, you're gonna pretty much be able to trust that route, especially if you have Gunslinger. Set feet lead's not as good as Gunslinger. Um, but this is primarily against a baseline look because we're gonna force them to baseline. Um, now, if they don't want to baseline, what they can do to stop this is they can basically use essentially a man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, let me just go ahead and set up my adjustments here. So you're gonna see we're gonna use basically this kind of coverage right here. And you're gonna see that I'm, they're gonna start to do things like man up this X receiver. So when we motion him out, what you're gonna see is the man coverage. I just wanna show you this. Uh, when he cuts to the outside, you see that the man coverage is not gonna be able to stop it. So this really is an alignment issue. They're gonna have a lot of, um, just a lot of challenges with their alignment. And that's what's really cool about the gun cluster. So there's really no easy way to stop this without base aligning their defense. Base aligning the defense is really the, the starting point to defending the gun cluster. Um, and now I wanna go over kind of the next read on this play. So once you've looked to this right side, what's really cool is um, you're gonna have this nice post route to the circle receiver. So you've got this nice read over here, but now you've got all of this grass to be able to throw the circle receiver open. You can, th he's gonna get open pretty much against every single coverage in the entire game. It's a really, really simple and really, really effective route. Um, it's, just, it's just, honestly, it's super, super simple, but it's super, super effective. It's really, really hard to guard it. 
and you're honestly that your opponent most likely um, is going to want to use the circle receiver okay so if he uses users uh, the circle receiver uh, when you have this out route combo with the wheel combo, most of the time they're going to put a man coverage over there. Um, but I just want to show you these little mesh routes. You're going to see these little mesh routes like in the zone are going to sit. These, honestly, because of the meta, with the meta shifting to being a lot of Mabel coverage, which is what a lot of people are doing, they're running a lot of uh, basically different versions of the same defense. But essentially they're doing you know a lot of Mabel coverage, right? So you're seeing you know stuff like this, maybe with some clouds. Uh, as you're going to see here, this is a cover two setup that I'm about to go to because uh, I just want to show you kind of what this looks like. So, you know, they might do something like this, honestly, uh, with usering in the middle of the field. But what you're going to see is this is going to um, this mesh concept is going to be pretty straightforward uh, against this. You're going to see that if they have deep halves on the field, um, you actually you actually see if you wait on this route to the X receiver, that out route is something that's really unique as well. Uh, against pretty much any defense, but especially uh, you know some some kind of Mabel coverage like that. The the next thing I want to show you, if I can get if I can get this thing to cooperate here, let me get a base line off. Uh, there we go. So if you if you watch the defense here, the other cool part about this, again, I just want to stress this, is against zone coverage. If you if you want to, you're going to see these little mesh routes on both sides. What they basically are is there a better version of a hitch route that are more delayed they do a really good job of kind of coming open at better points in my opinion so you're going to see that the defense because his user i guarantee to you honestly with about 100 percent accuracy that they are going to want to use her that post route well the cool part is another little uh technique that you can use is if they are um let's say for example they're stopping the running back wheel you can do this little concept we're basically we've taken the running back and we put him on a swing route to the left side. What this is going to do is really crisscross man coverage, but you see how it's going to pull these zones horizontal and you're going to be able to take your mesh routes underneath. Mesh post is honestly one of my favorite plays in the entire game for a lot of different reasons, but this is uh, you know kind of one of the many ones. Now let me just show you really quickly uh, this post route. So if they let's say that they come off of the post route and they come over um, onto the you know, onto the mesh route. So maybe they do something like this. Okay, let's just imagine that they're, you know, going from the post route uh, and they're going to go underneath. That's going to be their strategy. But what you're going to see here is if they at any point go off of this post route, I can basically throw this on the sideline. You see that these mesh routes, what they'll do is they'll basically act like ghost routes, um, which is really, really cool. So um, you can actually, you, honestly, you can do this on both sides as well. So let's say, for example, um, if we go to the mesh play, and for this for this example, uh, we're just going to use uh, two vertical hooks just to kind of show what I'm talking about. So let's say we go to this other version of the same concept. Uh, what you're going to see, what I'm going to probably do is honestly put my running back on a ghost route. But let's just say I don't, you know, don't have the opportunity to be able to do that. I'll streak Gronkowski motion over this uh, this post, and then I'll just block the running back out just so you can see what's going on. But what you'll see is these mesh routes will basically act like a ghost route. There. You see how they're going to hold him, and then we can basically easily pass lead this over the top of a cloud flat. So this is a really, really unique little passing concept that you can use to destroy Mabel coverage in this game. If they run man-to-man, -man, um, it's pretty good against man-to-man. -man. Uh, first and foremost, like I said, you know, based off where they're at, um, they're going to have a hard time playing man coverage to stock against this. Because as you see, their user is going to really pull their user out of the middle of the field. And then what's going to happen is you're going to get these natural man switches. And this play used to be, not be as good against man as it is right now with man coverage being toned down a little bit. This is a really, really good concept to go to. So this is Mesh Post. We've got more on the way. Be sure to subscribe if you want to get the rest of the gun cluster uh, mini scheme that you can add into the air raid offense.